Elon Musk's plan to settle humans on the moon seems nothing less than a fantasy. The owner of Tesla and SpaceX, Elon Musk, has a plan to build a city by 2050 where one million people can live. Initially, people made fun of his idea, but they started believing in it when NASA also joined the project. As we know, SpaceX has been making rapid progress in recent years. Elon Musk is also the owner of Tesla, a company known for automobiles and advanced technology. Similarly, SpaceX's rockets are built using modern technology. Mars, which is 62 million kilometers away from Earth, requires a special starship to transport humans there. According to Elon Musk, this spacecraft will operate using Tesla's battery technology, meaning it will consume minimal fuel. While it may successfully transport humans to Mars, the real question is, how will a human colony be built there? Why do Elon Musk and NASA want to leave this lush green Earth and settle humans on a barren planet? There is no oxygen to breathe, no food or water, and no shelter in the freezing minus 100 degrees Celsius temperatures. With no basic facilities for survival, how is it even possible to build a colony there? Let's explore this further. So, viewers, these are the questions you will find answers to in this video. First, let's understand why humans even need to live on Mars, when Earth already has everything necessary for survival. Over the past few years, studies on Earth's health have shown alarming results. Scientists say that excessive use of fossil fuels is rapidly increasing the planet's temperature, making it difficult to live on Earth in the coming years. According to a survey, Earth's average temperature is rising by 0.16 degrees Celsius every decade. This means that in 150 years, regions that are habitable today may become unlivable. As temperatures rise, glaciers are melting at an alarming rate, increasing the risks of floods, cyclones, and tsunamis. But it's not just about fossil fuels. Pollution is also weakening our ozone layer, the protective shield that blocks harmful radiation from the sun. On one hand, rising temperatures pose a threat, and on the other, radiation exposure is becoming a serious risk. Scientists have confirmed that sooner or later, living on Earth will no longer be possible. That is why humans are already searching for a new home, a new planet. But why Mars? Our solar system has many planets. Why not consider other options? In our solar system, we have two neighboring planets, Venus and Mars. Venus is much closer to us, so why don't we choose it instead? The answer is simple. The very reason we are considering leaving Earth, extreme heat. Venus, the second planet from the Sun, is so hot that it can melt metal. On the other hand, Mars, which is the fourth planet, is extremely cold, even colder than the Arctic regions of Earth. However, cold is not the biggest challenge. The real issue is that Mars has no oxygen and no water. So how do Elon Musk and NASA plan to make human habitation possible on Mars? Elon Musk's plan is to send a small group of people to Mars in 2026. They will be provided with two years worth of food, oxygen, and pressurized suits, and their survival will be closely monitored. But another major challenge is that humans cannot survive on Mars without protective shelters. The planet experiences terrifying dust storms that could be dangerous for settlers. To solve this problem, shelters will be built using Martian soil. But if there are no humans on Mars yet, who will build them? The answer, robots powered by artificial intelligence. AI, AI-powered robots will be sent to Mars before humans. These robots will be designed to perform specialized tasks independently, but will also be able to work together when needed. They will be much more efficient than humans, equipped with cameras, sensors, digging tools, and 3D printing units. These robots will be powered by solar energy and will first use their sensors to locate suitable soil for construction. 
Once they find the ideal location, a base unit will be set up for digging operations. The digging robots will extract soil, which will then be transported to a refining unit by smaller transport robots. After refinement, the soil will be delivered to the 3D printing unit, where the shelter will be constructed layer by layer. This process will continue for several months with monitoring from Earth. Once the shelter is complete, the next phase of the mission will begin. Now, for the first time in history, a group of humans will land on Mars. Since they will be carrying a lot of equipment, robots will assist them by transporting their supplies from the landing site to the base unit. Inside the shelter, small inflatable living units will be set up automatically. Because Mars has an extremely low atmospheric pressure, humans will have to live inside these pressurized units, which will be designed to simulate Earth's environment. These units will be interconnected, and to supply them with electricity, solar farms will be constructed with the help of robots. When someone needs to step outside, a special cabin attached to the habitat will allow them to exit without causing a pressure leak inside. The next step, growing food on Mars. To sustain life, the next challenge is building a greenhouse for food production. Scientists believe that, in the beginning, only potatoes and beans will be grown on Mars. As more plants are cultivated, they will release oxygen, which is essential for survival. However, this won't be enough, so oxygen will also be artificially produced on Mars. Surprisingly, NASA's Mars rover has already demonstrated this experiment. A special device, powered by solar energy, will extract carbon dioxide from Mars's atmosphere and use heat and electricity to separate oxygen molecules from carbon molecules, thus producing breathable oxygen. In terms of water, Mars has frozen water beneath its surface, which can be melted, purified, and used for drinking and other purposes. Over time, humans on Mars will become self-sufficient, capable of surviving without help from Earth. Eventually, travel between Mars and Earth will become possible anytime. The big question, can humans ever step outside freely? For now, humans can't survive outside their cabins without protective suits. But scientists believe that if Mars's atmosphere could be altered to increase its temperature, then in 100 to 200 years, Mars might become green and habitable like Earth. Many wild ideas have been proposed for this. An MIT student suggested building factories on Mars that would continuously release smoke to create global warming, just like on Earth. Even Elon Musk has proposed an extreme solution using nuclear weapons on Mars. He suggested firing at least 10,000 nuclear rockets to heat up the planet. So, friends, this is the ambitious plan of Elon Musk and NASA to send a small group of humans to Mars by 2026, conduct experiments, and prepare for the future of interplanetary colonization. Every two years, when Earth and Mars come closest to each other, more people will be sent to Mars. Elon Musk's ultimate goal is to establish a self-sustaining city on Mars, with one million people living there by 2050. This ambitious plan could change the future of humanity forever. Will humans truly become a multi-planetary species? Only time will tell. For more such information and amazing videos, subscribe to the channel, like and share the video, and share your valuable feedback in the comments. See you in the next exciting video. Thank you.